Since I moved to the UK, um, actually, uh, this past August, actually, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating on, I'm actually uh, pursuing my PhD in, mm. uh, in music with my, um, my focus on Caribbean jazz of the French and Anglophone um, Caribbean. And it's, it's all about really, again, part of my journey as a musician where how serious people take you, but also our, the Caribbean's contribution towards jazz, which it's never really, there is no proper documentation on it. And, but also when we ask people about Caribbean jazz or the jazz of the Caribbean, it's more pertain to the, um, the Latin Caribbean. And, and so on. So when we're starting, when I started digging into history of jazz and finding papers and so on, I started seeing more things that 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 connects to the the, the words and the, the the hush, so to speak, of some of the Caribbean players. Whereas you know the Caribbean has this influence in jazz, but no one talks about it and so on. So my goal was just to just write something, create a template of the music of the Anglophone Caribbean when we're talking about um, Trinidad and Jamaica and Barbados. Um, can't do all of them, but I started focusing on areas where some of the prominent musicians came from, like the Monte Alexanders and Othello Molino and so on. And then also the French, we're talking about the music from Haiti and Guadeloupe and Martinique and so on. And I'm like, there are so there's so much um, within that music. Also, this also came about whereas with regards to booking agents and so on, where or getting into festivals where folks don't just take you seriously because well that doesn't really belong here or this is not that type of stuff. And um, with the more more and more where you're seeing folks like Etienne Charles and um, Nabaya Garcia and and countless others of Caribbean um, background, and Sonny Rollins and um, Roy Haynes and stuff like that. You know, I think there is much need to be said and done with that. And um, I'll just maybe, maybe just um, cement that with the quote from from an interview that Sonny Rollins did, um, where he said. Um, when he came out, he wanted to express his Caribbean self, and um, but he felt that he had to put that to the side and, uh, and prove that he could that he belongs with the guys on his horn, to learn the stuff, and then eventually come out and start playing, uh, being himself, and that's what a lot of us of the Caribbean would feel like. Well, I would speak for myself in that sense, whereas well. I don't really play another horn. I don't really play a horn instrument, so I have to represent myself on this instrument, but also now show that I and my instrument belong into playing improvised music.